by the Alex, Alex, think about it this way. If we're stuck in the middle of the pond and there's 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 land outside of our ring that we know, that would be outer space. Okay, that would be called outer space, and that's extraterrestrial. And once we make it past that, it's like whatever is out there is out there. Maybe they keep finding new land and new continents. They're never going to tell us because if we all just got up and left, then we're leaving this satanic system they've created here. Yes, we're forced dude. to stay. We're we're forced to stay here if we. This is all that there is to us. If we know there's more land, if we can go, we can't even go try to go see. People go go take a picture of the edge. What edge? What? Where do you grasp this? the self-evidence proof for yourself. How do you feel about the globe that you're presented in kindergarten through third grade that you're defending? What are you nowadays? Well, I do wonder why in space and time, why everything is so spherical, but then that would also, you could argue What's gravity. What's spherical in nature? Spherical in nature, yes. but the sun looks spherical. And, and and then you've got Jupiter and Saturn. I'm talking about Earth through. though, Alex. I'm talking about Earth. The thing I see is kind of the form like, I can't see myself as a two-year-old, but my mother, you know, looks like a human, I'm a human. So I see the moon, I, it doesn't really turn though. That's a good point. And I just see that looks like a globe to me. No, no, but again, the, if you look at the ceiling in your house, the, the lights, the shape of the lights in your house on top of your ceiling, that doesn't determine the floor of your home. Your floor is flat, right? So it doesn't matter what's about, you keep going up. I'm talking about here, staying Boom. on this plane of existence we're on. Well, as above, so like below. Oh, snap. Oh. Imagine the documentary showing us arguing, and then we like make calls and do it all, and they deny it. Because I know exactly. we've already tried. That's going to be the documentary, because we ain't going. They ain't going to let us go. But well, where have you ever seen the where process, there's not corporations in like Walmart and like everyone, because we call, it's like, well, call back in a month. You're lucky. We spent months trying to actually do it. Yeah. I was going to send a crew. They won't call back. You can't even go there. There's one peninsula where you look at penguins. Exactly. So I, and it. then you think, oh, I would. Oh, I have some friends that went to fucking South Pole. Yeah. Yeah. They, they put them uh, in that little fucking island with penguins. You can't yeah. just go. I mean, you saying you're explore. at the South Pole and you walk, saying you went to Antarctica and you walked around it. He's like being in New Jersey and saying, saying you were chilling in California. It's exactly. fucking huge. There's a whole part to it. They let you go to some parts, and they don't let you go to the other parts. Antarctica's bigger than No, they're than definitely all the hiding Antarctica. Oh, we God, need the I Hibbler know. channel. Yeah, dude, we gotta do that, Alex. Alex dude, Hibbler has produced charge. two of the best flat Earth documentaries. I mean, he, I Hibbler's no joke. I, I know, I know, you're tripping on his name right now, Alex, and you can't, you can't get over it, but. He watched watch the documentary level, watch that one, and then his new one's coming out in like three weeks called Next Level. You watch that shit. If if you're on the fence, he'll tip you over. No, I love it all. I'm I'm gonna stop being sarcastic. I apologize. I'll see hey, you guys soon in Austin. Alex, let's do a show. I'll let you go. Where we, you, me, and Eddie watch Hibbler's special and no, we no, just talk we'll, we'll get a big screen and call it the Hibbler effect. Yes, there we go. There we go. Come to the We're light, doing the Alex. Hip and then